Hey friends, what's up? How's it going? Got a new toy for the bike back here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, and here we have from SW Motec. We got the uh, Pro Micro tank bag. It comes in this little cool little bag. I guess for you know when I'm not going to be using it, it'd be nice to just store it in this. And the uh, Pro Tank ring. So this is a magnetic system. This will lock in place in this. So let's get this all opened up and get it on the bike. All right, here's what comes in boxes. So in your Pro Tank ring, you get your directions, all the hardware to attach it. And these two rings, this one is the uh, magnetic one, this one here. And over here, here's the bag itself. So it's, uh, you know, fit a couple of bottles of water, some batteries, some, you know, camera gear, whatever you need to fit in there. So it's not huge. I didn't want a really big one, but that's what it looks like. And underneath here is where you attach and you can adjust where you want it to be on your tank, forward or back. And then this, get this. Okay, and it came with this is the mounting plate. This goes underneath the bag. Uh, directions and a waterproof. I think this is a waterproof bag. So if you get stuck in the rain, you could put this over the top of it, I'm guessing. Keep the rain out. And uh, some some of the hardware. That's it. So all that is gonna get mounted on that. The Pro Tank Ring comes with a QR code for the directions, so you can take a picture of that, and then it'll bring you to uh, the directions online. And the bag itself, um, I believe they have directions online if you if you want, but they give you the actual directions in paper. So we're going to use these. So this is a BMW R1250RS, and it's a 2020. So first step here is <clears throat> we have to remove these four. One, two, three, four. Remove those, insert some spacers, and then put on the first um, part of the, the uh, tank ring. Okay, now that the four um, bolts are out, you gotta put in the, uh, the spacers. So they just, you just rest them in here. Okay, next you put on this first part right on top of the uh, spacers. And then they give you, they give you four of these type of screws. These two are a little shorter than these. These are the ones I'm gonna use. And they go, they go on this right here. And then just tighten those down. And these shouldn't be torqued too tightly. Just basically hand tight a little bit more. Okay. Moving on, next step. The next part is putting on the magnetic ring that sits right on top here. Underneath there's one, two, three, four really powerful magnets. And that'll help uh, secure the, the micro tank bag once it's installed. That goes right on there. And then they give you three sets of bolts. These are hex bolts, they're not um, Torx. So there's a, a shorter one, a longer one, and the longest one. I'm going to go with these long ones for my bike. Uh, so I think you have to just have to see which ones fit best for yours. And then just go, one goes here, one goes here. And again, you just tighten them down just a little bit above hand height. And the next step is to put these little caps. They go in here, one here, one here. 
You just gotta put them thread. There's threads on one side and a hex bolt uh, female on the other side. Just lay those in there. There's that magnet. <laughs> And then just tighten these down. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do the mounting for the bag. They give you uh, four screws here. These are also um, hex bolts. They give you a little Allen wrench with it. And then on the inside here, you'll see this red cord. This, you got to unhook it, take it out, remove. Remove it. Put this back in here for now. All right, so the directions say to just thread this through here so that this, this part is sticking out. So when you pull on it, okay, so I'm just going to hold it this way. You can see that this is facing out this way, this little part. And you got to put this back on. So make sure you hold it right side up. That's upside down, right side up. And you put it in the first, first part into the back part and pull down. And then we'll adjust it later once we go in the back, but you just make sure it works, pull on it. This doesn't work and you attach the bag and you don't have this rip cord, it's gonna be really hard to, un <laughs> to get your bag off. I think your bag will be stuck on your bike. Okay, and then the next step is to put the bag onto the uh, mounting bracket here, or mounting surface. And there's this uh, four holes there, match up with these. The red uh, rip cord goes on this side. So the back, the emblem here would be back. And this would be the, the front. So just flip it over. Put those on there. And then you've got these four screws. Okay, now that we've got these uh, four bolts in, um, it's pretty tight now, but I can unloosen these and you can move this back and forth to position it on the, on the tank where you want it more forward or more back. And then this red cord, you just put it, snake it through this. There's a little slot right here. And put it put it through there and it'll come it'll come out inside the bag here come on there you go there's this and then there's the clip on the inside just clip it and that's in so that's what it Looks like you can you can adjust this. Okay, now that it's all set up and the rip cord's all in place, tucked away inside, just drop it on, and there it is. It's nice and sturdy, not going anywhere. And then uh, the rip cord is here. You can adjust this again, kind of tuck it under. We want to take the bag off. You just pull on this, it comes right off. Okay, now that the tank bag is on, it's firmly in place. Now you want to make sure that you're it doesn't impede your handlebars at all. So I could I can move this forward more if I want. I think I'm going to. I'm gonna move it forward right to, I want this curve to meet up with this curve of the tank. So I'm probably gonna move it forward about an inch and a half. Good. And then on the camera person, come on closer, don't be shy. Then on here, come over here. Right here, there's a right here. There's a zipper. You can undo it, and it's an expansion zipper. So you just unzip all the way around, and then this pops up. See that? Gives you a whole another inch and a half of storage in here. Now if we can come over this way, stop. So with the expansion open, you can see. Gives you a lot extra room if you need it. Let's just see how big this is, uh, what, what we can fit in here. Okay, so I got two, two bottles of water here. These are 16 or 17, almost 17 ounce, 500 milliliter bottles. 
let's see if they can fit in here. So this is with the expansion. This is with the expansion closed basically. So it fits. And then if you do the expansion, it brings it up another inch and a half. So you can fit some more stuff in there if you need to. So that just give you some reference to how much space you have in this, uh, in this bag. So there's expansion, no expansion. Okay, so I just took it off because, I, like I said before, I want to adjust it. I want to move the bag forward a little bit. So I just undid these screws here, just loosen them up, and then you pull this. You can hear it click. Okay, that's as far forward as it goes. So I'm going to tighten those screws up, and we'll try it that way. Okay, I just moved this all the way forward and just test it out. There we go. Just got to get used to where that goes. All right, so this is as far forward as it can go. Let me check steering. Yeah, it doesn't impede my steering at all. And I'm, I'm not going to really probably use the expansion too much, so I'm going to close that up. Uh, but summer is here almost, and I will be carrying a lot more water and electrolytes with me. Okay, so what I did for the uh, to get rid of that cord, that extra piece, I just pulled just pulled the the whole thing through that back, and it's going to leave this in here. And you can shorten this or make it longer. What up to you? I think I'll keep it around like that. That's fine. And that's it. That's the uh, SW Motec. La la la. Any questions about this? Let me know. Uh, happy to answer. If you have any, it's a, so far it looks to be like it's going to be a really cool thing to have. And there's also, I just noticed there's some elastics in here on the inside. There's one here, one here, and then there's two on this side. So you got to like tuck some, like maybe a cleaning cloth or something you tuck in there. And then it's got this uh, top part here. You don't put your bike insurance or whatever you want to put in there. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's it for the uh, kind of installation part of this SW Motec Micro Tank Bag Pro, I believe it is. And uh, next is I got to take it out on the road and test it and ride around with it, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Let's put this back on here. Nice and sturdy. Has the red, matches my bike, all black and red. Looks pretty cool, I think. That's it for this uh, edition. Have any questions about this, let me know. Comments, suggestions, etc. Make sure you subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, click the little bell, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Later.